News Channel 3, live at 11. Not long from now, Michigan's beaches will be warm and sunny, drawing people to the lakeshore for long, lazy afternoons. Businesses are banking that those people will spend lots of cash as well. Travel and tourism is a nearly $19 billion a year industry in this state. But those sunny skies could be darkened by an economic storm. High gas prices are forcing some folks to stay at home. Unfortunate when at a time when Michigan is losing jobs and people are struggling to make ends meet. For 2008, Michigan State University forecasts a 2% drop in travel volume, people coming to Michigan. Travel spending is expected to be flat, but prices for that vacation predicted to rise between 3 and 4%. Healthy tourism is vital to the state of our state, and some leaders say that Michigan will weather the economic storm that could rain on our parade. News Channel 3, Scott Knoll is live in Saugatuck tonight to tell us why they're staying optimistic. Scott? Well, Jeff, it's no secret. Tourism is big business here in Lakeshore towns like Saugatuck. The big question now, will a new marketing campaign be enough to turn around predictions of a down year? At the Kirby House Bed and Breakfast, owner Jim Gowran is setting up for what he hopes will be a busy summer, despite predictions of a slow tourist season. The, the unfortunate thing is um, people like myself and, and also consumers, um, a lot of times we rely on reports and statistics, and that gives us a sense of fear to uh, not want to travel. But with gas prices now topping three fifty a gallon, the state is hoping to spend its way out of a potential tourism slump. Governor Jennifer Granholm playing cheerleader, addressing the Michigan Lodging and Tourism Conference Tuesday in Grand Rapids. We're going to come back next year and say, Whew, that was a fantastic year, best at all expectations. Her plan to use $45 million in refinance debt to market Michigan to visitors nationwide and internationally, an expansion of the state's Pure Michigan campaign. The research that has been done shows that for every dollar you invest, it creates another $40 of economic activity, and that is a really good return on investment. Tourism leaders say it'll be the first time Michigan has made a promotional push outside the Midwest. It's, it's kind of like General Motors selling cars in six states. I mean, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. If you've got a good quality product, then you should sell it all over the country, obviously, and so that's what we're going to do. We but just have never had the fun to, to do that before. But will it put heads in beds? Gowrin believes so. Uh, we got to get the message out to the people that we are here. And that message has to show them all the things that we offer for people who are looking for a vacation. A change in strategy, those who make their living off tourism say we can't afford not to try. Uh, there's a great untapped market out there that can be a huge advantage for us. Despite the gloomy forecast in this report, there could be good news for this part of the state, southwest Michigan. According to the report, we could actually see a slight increase in tourist dollars spent here this year, the only part of the state that could say that. Live in Saugatuck, I'm Scott Knoll, News Channel 3. Thank you, Scott.